Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a knotted bead necklace and it looks like this. It's just basically a tube of fabric and you're going to put large beads inside and then tie knots in between. And it's really lightweight and comfy. And what you need to make it is just some lightweight fabric. This is just cotton or you could recycle an old silk scarf like this one. It's just, you know. And of course you're going to need some large beads to put inside. Large white plastic beads that kind of look like pearls. Wooden beads like this. Or you could even use marbles. That's what I have inside this one. It's a little heavier, but if you use wooden beads it'll be really, really light. Or you could also use like little craft pom-poms or cotton balls. Just anything to put inside. And it doesn't really matter what the beads look like because they're going to be covered by the fabric anyways. And I'm going to show you two different ways to make this. The first way is knotted like this one. The second way is instead of knots on the outside you're going to use pony beads. These. So I'm going to start showing you how to do the knotted method and I'm going to use my silk scarf and it's 60 inches long and the length you cut your fabric or whatever depends on how long you want the necklace. This strip of fabric um, was 36 inches long. You want to make it a bit longer than what your necklace is going to be because if you're knotting and wrapping around beads it's obviously going to make it a bit shorter. So this one, this strip of fabric I cut 36 inches long and 3 inches wide and then I folded it in half good sides together lengthwise and then sewed it so it's a tube. So what I'm going to do to start is find the center. So I'm just going to match up the ends. There's the center and I'm just going to tie a knot to start. There we go, and just pull it tight. So I have a knot approximately in the center. And then I'm just going to lay it down. And I'm going to take a wooden bead. I'm just going to place it oops, um, beside the knot. And I'm going to start wrapping the fabric around it and kind of roll it up so it's covered. So here's the knot, here's the bead inside. I'm just going to kind of push it so it's as close to the knot as I can get. can be kind of hard just because silk is slippery and even with fabric it's just hard to kind of get it as close as you can. And then you're going to twist it beside the bead just a couple times. So you have a bead and then twisted fabric, maybe a bit more. And then you're just going to tie it in a knot again. And you want everything to be very tight, so I'm just going to, I have the knot kind of around my finger, I'm just going to push it and pull it as close to the bead as I can. And just pull it really tight. Just kind of adjust it. So there we go. I have my bead in the middle and two knots on either side. I'm just going to tighten up that side a little more. Okay, and now I'm just going to keep doing the same thing. I'm going to lay it flat. Take another bead, put it inside, wrap it, roll it up, push it towards the knot, twist the fabric, okay, and then tie it in a knot. Okay there, so now I have three knots and two beads. So since this was my center one, I added one on this side. I'm now going to add one on this side of the center bead, just so it's even across the whole thing. There we go. So that's my center, and these are two on each side. So I'm just going to keep going, adding one on this side, then one on this side, and keep going until I have as many beads as I want. Alright, so I finished adding beads and knotting, and I used about 11 beads. So, as you can see, beads and knots everywhere. <laughs> and then, here, let's see if I can show it. Here's all the beading right here, and this is the leftover scarf. And this is what you're going to use to tie it around your neck. I'm just quickly going to show you the other method, which is using a pony bead instead of a knot. So, I'm just going to take another bead 
and put it beside the knot, roll it up the exact same way, and twist it. And then instead of tying a knot here, I'm going to go to the end. I'm going to take a little pony bead. And this can be really difficult <laughs> trying to feed it through, but since it's silk, it's a little easier. And I'm just going to keep pulling the fabric through the pony bead. Until it comes down to the bead inside, and I'm just going to retwist it because it kind of came out. Push the bead down, keep pulling the fabric. And then it'll be like that. So imagine that's another pony bead, and that's what it'll look like if you use that. But I think knotting it's a lot easier, and it looks a lot more sophisticated than having a pony bead. So here's the finished necklace. That's what it looks like with the beads, and then the free ends that you're going to use to tie it around your neck. And another way that you could close it. I'll show you on this one. Um, at the end, I just took a piece of ribbon and sewed it. This one I used a tube of fabric like I talked about earlier, so I just did that on both sides and then used that to tie it. So you could do that, but I'm just going to put this one on. So I'm going to use these to tie it. So here's what it looks like on. I'll show you close up. It's really soft and comfy, and I just tied it in a double knot in the back. You can tie it in a bottle shirt. So, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.